Floyd Mayweather Jr. is, if not the greatest fighter of all times because of his resume. There's a lot of conversations surrounding Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s 50 and 0 record. And a lot of people are using that 50 and 0 to compare to Manny Pacquiao becoming an eight division world champion. And I think this conversation a lot of people are having is because of them not wanting to acknowledge Floyd Mayweather as being greater than Manny Pacquiao. So because Floyd beat Pacquiao, I see that people have found ways to place Manny above Floyd by comparing 50 and 0 to eight divisions, which I think is very diabolical. Because a lot of people, when they when they talk about Floyd Mayweather, it's like 50 and 0. That's it. You know, he, he became 50 and 0. So what? That's it. Anybody can become 50 and 0. A lot of people look at Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s 50 and 0 record as something that could be accomplished by any fighter. Now that may that may can be true depending on who the fighter is fighting. And he uses foreign fighters like uh Sasani Salapa as an example to basically degrade Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s accomplishment by saying any fighters can become 50 and 0. Which to me, again, you know, fighters can become 50 and 0 depending on who they're fighting. But what people fail to acknowledge is that the fact that Floyd Mayweather Jr. resume is made up with a lot of legendary fighters. And this is why his 50 and 0 record stands out the most. I do see people attacking Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s last fight that he had that was recorded as a win for him. And that was his fight with Conor McGregor. A lot of people are more upset at the fact that he surpassed Rocky Marciano's record by beating Conor McGregor. If Floyd Mayweather would not have passed up uh, Rocky Marciano's 49-0 record, Floyd Mayweather Jr. beat Conor McGregor to become 50-0. And a lot of people are upset with that. And I think even if Floyd Mayweather would not have passed up or surpassed Rocky Marciano's 49-0 record, people still would have had an issue with Floyd beating Conor McGregor. And a lot of people, again, you know, I think when it comes to Floyd Mayweather, people have very high standards for Floyd Mayweather. So even as, you know, a 38, a 39 year old Floyd Mayweather, who's practically was at the end of his career or damn near retired when he fought Conor McGregor, he still didn't get the benefit of the doubt. Even with his amazing career that he had, people still um, looked at his fight with Conor McGregor as being um, somewhat of a fight that he should not ever have taken. And when it comes to the double standard, you clearly see that most fans, you know, do have this double standard for Floyd Mayweather because you don't see this negativity with fighters like Tyson Fury. His fight with Francis Nagano actually counted as a professional fight. That Francis Nagano is actually on Tyson Fury's resume. And nobody complained about that. No one had an issue with that. But since it's Floyd Mayweather, who's arguably the greatest fighter of all time, and he's a foundational African-American man, a lot of people had an issue with that. Because with that record, with that 50 and 0 record, it's hard to not acknowledge Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s greatness. You see, a lot of people, they just look at the layer of Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s 50 and 0 record. They just look at the, they just look at the record while ignoring what's behind that 50 and 0 record. And this is why it's very hard to degrade Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s 50 and 0 record. You do see people trying to, but it's very difficult for them to do so because of what's behind his 50 and 0 record. And this is why you see people only talking about the Conor McGregor fight while ignoring the other 49 fights that he's had before the Conor McGregor fight. People only attack that Conor McGregor fight because they think it's a way for them to degrade Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s 50 and 0 record. Because Floyd became 50 and 0 by beating the lights of Conor McGregor, people use that fight as a way to say his 50 and 0 record doesn't mean anything. And this is why you hear people say any any fighter can become 50 and 0, which again, yes, fighters can become 50 and 0, but depending on who they're fighting. Floyd Mayweather Jr. has beaten, I believe, 12 Hall of Fame fighters. Something that you can't really find on any fighter's resume. Current and not even in the past. Floyd Mayweather has beaten more world champions than any fighter throughout the history 
of the sport of boxing and he did it in far less fights and what's behind his 50 you know record like i said 26 world title fights which he's undefeated in becoming champion in five weight classes beating at least 12 or 13 hall of fame fighters he's beaten multiple pound for pound fighters and so again when people are trying to have this conversation about the 50 and 0 versus eight divisions it's like like i said it's diabolical because people are just looking at the record instead of going and doing research and seeing what's behind this record floyd mayweather's 50 and 0 record is the standard because of what's behind his record and again, when you see people attacking his last fight that he had with Conor McGregor, it sounds pretty pathetic because that's not what Floyd Miller Jr. record is made up with. 